This is a test to see if the coupler is working and also a way to check the plasma tube to see if it is functioning or not. In this particular instance, we have got the coupler set up with two Radio Shack clip leads, each one about 15 inches long. They're stretched out in opposite directions from the coupler. It's placed on a plastic table to uh, avoid any RF interference. Then we'll turn the amplifier on. Now we need to go up on the voltage slowly and ideally you should watch the amplifier current. You get to about 57 volts and the amplifier is drawing about 1.3 amperes. Again, this is with a 50% duty cycle. When you take a standard fluorescent tube and place it near the coupler, the tube will light if the coupler is good. If the coupler has shorter turns, the tube will not light. And you can, as you can see, you can move the tube a considerable distance away from the coupler and it still lights. So this indicates that the coupler is in fact working. Don't touch the clip leads, by the way, they have high voltage on them. If we replace the fluorescent tube with the SSQ-ST plasma tube, which you see here, and place it near the coupler, if the tube is good, it will light. This indicates that the tube is good and, uh, and, the, and it's working. If the fluorescent tube lit, but this SSQ-ST does not light during this test, then that indicates that most likely the SSQ needs to be uh, pumped down and refilled with gas. If the fluorescent tube did not light, then that indicates that the coupler is probably bad.